Hi there, I'm Andrew Stanton, the director of John Carter. And what you're about to see are a bunch of deleted scenes from the movie. Some of these scenes are gonna look very finished and some are gonna look very, very rough. Very strange, in fact. You'll see people with gray pajamas representing Tharks. You'll see people on ATVs that are supposed to be Thoats. And you'll see a lot of places where there are no visual effects and we had to put drawings in its place while we were cutting. But it's, I think, enlightening seeing the journey you take for uh, making an entire movie. So let's take a look and I hope you enjoy it. Basum. Our world is dying. A long, low echo of faded glory. Can you hear it? Basum. Our home. It cries for help. Yet how can we hear above the din of civil war? A war her red men have waged for 10,000 years. On one side, Zadanga, the scavenger city, gnawing at the bones of Barsoom to fill its belly with precious radium for the eighth ray drives that allow us to sail the light of the sun. Opposing them, Helium where the iron law of survival never crushed the love of art and science. Yet we are as desperate for radium as our enemy, as trapped in the old ways. What if I dared propose something new, superior to radium? right in front of our noses, all around us. Power enough to restore our lost oceans and end our war with Sedanga at a stroke. Someone might say you were wasting our time. Not me, of course. <clears throat> if His Majesty the Jeddak will indulge me. Why would today be any different? We have discovered that between each of the eight known rays, there exists a binding force. A shadow light, if you will. When we attempt to separate these rays, an intense resistance occurs, exposing this hidden ninth ray. Look in between. Look for a glow of blue. She is on the verge, Ekador. Much closer than we suspected. Agreed. We must proceed to the end game. Ah. Gloomy and dispirited, just as I'd hoped. Gantos, not now. Supposing I told you that a sandstorm had kicked up near Hastor. And that as the Dangan Corsair had got trapped on our side of the border. Now suppose I told you that that Corsair was flying the personal colors of none other than the Jeddak of Zodanga. And there's my smile. Send the seventh to reinforce the patrol. Already on their way, sir, with orders to seize Sab Thun. Name of sender? Carter. John Carter. Which 
brings us to the pineal gland, whose function remains mysterious to medicine. Descartes identified it as the location of the human soul, our essence. Now this begs a question. If our soul loses its home, can it find a new one? And where might we find the essence of Mr. Burroughs? Certainly not in this classroom. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Special delivery. Bad news? I don't know. It's from my Uncle Jack. John Carter. <laughs> John Carter of the Two Moons Mine. Are you rich, Edgar? <laughs> Gentlemen, please. No, I haven't seen him since I was a boy. Since before the war. It was before he struck gold. He wasn't rich then. He was... It was just Uncle Jack. Of course, I always adored him, but it's been so long. Why me? He never offered an explanation. I never asked him for one. It was his private journal. He was most explicit that you, and only you, would read its contents. But you might possibly find some kind of explanation in here. I'll leave you now. Again, my condolences. That young man in there is one lucky son of a bitch. Denga happened. White apes! They hunt by night, without eyes. Track you down by the smell of fear. This masks the smell. You need much.
There's just one thing I need. Your right arm! He cannot be Dotar Sojat. He is not Thark. It is my decision, Tel Hages. Jenek! He stole your throat. Oh. Oh. There goes your right arm. I will deal with this. Sojat! Are you broken? Uh, yeah, I am. Merciful goddess, what were you thinking? Bola, go home. Mm. Go. Mm. Now! Mm. Something troubling you, Tars? When I first saw you leap up into the sky, I wished to believe it was a sign that something new could come into this world, that change is still possible. But I fear it is too late for the Tharks, too late for Sola. She's your daughter, isn't she? Call it a father's intuition. She does not know. She cannot. A Thark has no parent but the Horde. But you know. How? Her mother was different. She kept her egg. She carries the last flicker of our ancient greatness. Now, Tharks only see it as weakness. I can't protect her any longer. What are you up to, Dotar Sojat? Sorry. This thing's coming with me down the ears. It is. Let me show you a shortcut. You have not eaten. I've seen nothing I would consider food. Then you should close your eyes. Cities united. Anything is possible. All you have to do is marry me. Fascinating. Save him for me. You heard me. Yet another victim of your charms, I see. Princess, without wishing to appear over-eager, when may I expect an answer to my offer? Soon, Sadfan. You shall have it soon. On the way.
My name is Matai Shang, and I do not exist. Indeed, I work very hard at it. And your name is John Carter. And after we've had the chance to study you a bit, you won't exist either. Literally, I'm afraid. Then why not just kill me now? Don't try to grasp our intentions, Earthman. I may be obliged to pity you. Make way! Coming through! Excuse me. Excuse me. Border of Helium. Very good. Stop the city. Yeah! 